Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we turn AI images into 3D game-ready characters, so let's begin. First, we will need to generate our character images. Recently, I have watched an isekai anime, so let's take that concept and generate our characters. So here I am typing prompt to generate a monster. So these results are good, but I want a skeleton monster character, who have an armor as well, so let's change the prompt. Now these results are much better. So after a few tries, I finalized this character and here you can see this simple prompt as well. Now in my game, I have a male character as well. So I had already generated few characters before which are shown here. I am selecting this character as my main character. Once you have all images of your characters, move on to generating 3D model. I will show you two ways of generating 3D characters from an image. One is free and second is based on credit system. So come to this site and upload your character image. First it will generate PNG image, then it will give us images of our character from different view. It can be useful for 3 character artists to use as reference. So as you can see, this character is very low poly and not detailed enough. But if you are making a top-down RPG games, then it will work just fine. This is the second website. First, you have to sign up with Google. So let's upload our monster character image. As you can see, it's processing the image. Once that's done, click on generate and it will start processing. Our character mesh is ready, and this is definitely more detailed than the previous one, so let's confirm it. Press this button to apply textures on the model. so our character is ready for download. Here you can make it high poly as well, but it will require subscription. Download it. Do the same steps for our main character as well,
First, I generated it in free website to see if this would work out or not. But my character was looking more like a duck. So in other website, I started generating main character and I was having trouble with textures. AI was getting confused in differentiating between helmet and hairs. So we have this redo button, which will recreate textures. And here I am telling AI to full copy reference for textures. This looks much better now. Let's confirm this and save our character. Now in Blender, we will rig our character in a way that it will be fully supported in Unreal Engine. So here I tried to import FBX. but there was nothing. Make sure that in the download folder you have unzip your character file. We have two folders and two FBX files of model. So when I tried to import FBX file of shaded folder, it didn't work. So let's try other FBX file from PBR folder. And this one worked. Apply any material. And in shaded tab, let's bring those PBR texture maps here and assign it. Face texture doesn't look good, so let's try other texture from shaded folder and assign it. Face looks good now. Let's see what happens when we remove all those other maps. Wow, it looks really good. Let's rig the character now. I am using Auto Rig Pro for rigging. Just follow these steps. bones are all set and uh, if you think some bones are not aligned properly then uh, you can align it in edit mode as well let's hit this button and it will generate the rig The rig is not working because we haven't bind skeleton to our character mesh. So go to skin tab and hit this button. Click here to export it as FBX and copy this settings.
If you forget any one step, it will not work in Unreal. So for demonstration, I am going to use a third person template, which I have already created. Let's import our character. Make sure you choose this skeleton. Now that our character is successfully imported, let's swap default character to our main character. For that, go into Blueprint and change the character. All right, now let's play and see. And there you go, a character generated by AI ready for game production. But as you can see, pole character have same roughness and helmet is not reflecting as it should with our sun. So go into material and delete this extra nodes. and import maps from PBR folder and assign it. Now you can see, our character looks much better after those changes. Now let's rig our monster as well. This is the same steps we did for our main character, so I am skipping this. Once character rigging process is done, import monster enemy into Unreal. Again, this is the same steps as we did for our main character. Now I want my monster enemy to chase my character, for that let's import some animation from Mixamo. I want a walk, run, and attack animation. So select your animation and simply download it without changing any settings. I already have some of the animations downloaded previously, so I will not download it. In Import these animations into Unreal as well with default settings. Now have to retarget this animations to my monster character. So right click on your animation and select retarget animation. Here it's asking on which character do you want this animation. So I selected monster enemy and select animation from this list and export it into a folder. Do this steps for all your animations. Now all that is left is to set up enemy AI blueprint so let me do that. If you want to learn blueprint process as well, let me know in the comment section, I will create one. This video is already too long so I'm skipping this part. Alright so my blueprint is all set. Now let's play and see our gameplay. So when my character comes in his sight he starts chasing me and So, will this AI replace character artist? And the simple answer is no. Because if you see this character, it does have good loops for body deformation, but it is just a single mesh. So if you want a close up shot in which character is saying some kind of dialogue, then you can't do that. You will need a character artist to make a proper character with different body parts. I guess I deserve a subscribe. 
for all that hard work, so do it.